If you have low back pain, you might know that it's probably not a good idea for you to round your spine. Now it depends what's going on, but in many cases, if you have a low back issue going on, you want to keep your spine as straight as you can, core engaged, and for most people, a gentle back bend or extension is okay. So I'm going to show you how I have modified my sun salutation for myself because I have a low back issue. I don't want to be rounding my spine too much. So if this is you, hop on your mat and come and join me. So we're going to start in mountain pose. Just come to the top of the mat. We're going to take a moment to warm up. So press the feet into the floor, stand up nice and straight. Inhale, reach the arms up and just exhale them down. Just warming up the body. Inhale up, exhale down. One last time. Inhale, reach the arms up, exhale down. Adding on here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinging from the waist, keeping your back straight. You can bring the hands onto your shins, onto your thighs, just not onto the knees. So nice straight spine here into our flat back. So we don't go all the way down and round the spine. We just stay here. Bend the knees, coming back up, press into the feet. Inhale, coming up, exhale down. So that's our half sun salutation with a flat back. Inhale up, let's do it again. Exhale into your flat back. Bend the knees, coming back up. Pressing into the feet, reach the arms down, around and up. Exhale down. One last time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale into your flat back, hands to the shins. Keep the spine straight. Bend the knees, coming back up. Reach the arms down, around and up. Exhale down. So that was our half sun salutation. Adding on here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale into your flat back. Pause here. Now we're gonna bend the knees a lot. Keep your spine as straight as you can. Plant your hands on the floor. Slide one knee back at a time. Coming into a tabletop position. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders or onto your forearms if you have wrist sensitivities. And then we're gonna stretch our legs out into a plank pose. Lower the hips, press into the floor, engage the core, press the heels back, plank strengthens the whole body. Breathe. And then lower the knees to the floor. I come down onto my forearms here. So first coming onto the forearms, then lowering the hips, then lowering the torso to the floor. Hands under the shoulders, moving into our cobra. So let's do two cobras here. Elbows in, press into the pelvis. Generally, cobras are great for the lower back. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, down. Inhale, pressing into the pelvis. Coming up as far as comfortable for you. Exhale, down. All right, coming back up to your tabletop, engage the core, press into the hands, keep your back straight, walk your knees back underneath you, back to your tabletop position. So we're here and we can either just step forward and stand up or we can go through downward dog. Let's do downward dog. So you want to walk your hands maybe a little forward of the shoulders, curl the toes, Press into the hands, lift the hips any amount, back is straight. You can stay here with the knees hovering over the floor, or you can walk the feet in a little bit, coming into downward dog, if downward dog is part of your practice. You can also keep the knees bent a lot, lift the hips so you keep up your back nice and straight. Pause here. Look forward between the hands. You're gonna walk your hands forward, your feet forward, back to your flat back, keeping the back as straight as you can. Bend the knees, coming up, reach the arms down, around and up. Exhale down. 
Let's do that one more time with a step up. So inhale, arms up. Exhale into your flat back. Bend the knees, plant the hands, slowly step back, one foot at a time, coming into your tabletop position. And you can step straight back into plank here, but I like to go through tabletop to set up my hands right under my shoulders. Make sure they're there. Press into the floor, take the feet back into your plank, Feel free to be on your forearms. Plank strengthens the whole body. You can hold for one breath, three breaths, five breaths, as many as you like. Lower the knees. Again, come down onto the forearms. Takes pressure off the shoulders. Lower the hips. Come all the way down. Hands underneath the shoulders. Stretch the legs out. Two cobras. So pin the elbows into the body. Press into the floor, the pelvis. Inhale, coming up, exhale down. One more time, inhale, coming up, exhale down. Pressing back up to our tabletop position. So we're not gonna go into downward dog this time. We're just stepping forward with the right foot, coming up onto the left knee. You can bring the hands onto the hips, curl those back toes and come up to standing in any way that's safe for you, or just step up. So that is my version of a sun salutation, aiming to keep my back as straight as possible and not going into that forward fold rounded position, because if you have lower back issues, not for everybody, but for many people, rounding the spine is not a good idea, especially for us women over 40, as you get older, Oftentimes, many of us d develop osteopenia, osteoporosis in the spine. You don't wanna be compressing the spine in a forward rounded position. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks. <laughs>